Today is June 12th on Wednesday. I just left um, Rocky Mountain Shelter. I'm on my way to um, the next shelter up. It's about five miles, but I'm going to try to go after that, but I'll see how I feel after I did my 10.2 yesterday. So I'm trying not to push it, but it was kind of hard. Um, the rocks are starting to get a little more plentiful here in um, Pennsylvania. So far, not too bad. I think I got a little while to go before I get to the really hard ones. Slept pretty good last night. Um, ended up sleeping in the shelter, which was nice. It helped me get out earlier. I was able to get out by 7.30 this morning. All right, I'm going to go back and go this other way. Well, this is one of those places that just make you go, hmm. Yeah, hmm. I'm gonna climb over these. So when you stop off at the on the trail to, to go to the bathroom, you want to leave your pack on the trail that people know you're um, around somewhere. But you always want to keep sight of your pack. That way you know where the trail is and not take your pack with you off the trail. There's a chance of getting, you could get lost, but if the terrain is real difficult. But uh, not a whole lot of cover places though. But at least I know where my pack is. Another thing too is scanning for poison ivy and poison oak. I would hate to get poison ivy on my butt. And if it's not too tall, I want to go where places where the grasses are too tall. Like over there, it's too tall. Or it's not too bad. I had to take a, take a detour. Um, looked like the trail was washed out down there just past the road. So we're having to go down this trolley line. I'm fixing to turn back on the trail right here. So we'll see when we get down there. Yeah, it looks like the bridge or the trail washed out just before Caledonia State Park. So this is just another way. This is Caledonia State Park here in Pennsylvania. I came up here to um, go to the snack bar, but I just talked to one of the rangers up here and they said it was closed this year because the person that they had did not come back this year. So that's a bummer. I I'll, I'll stop up here and um, eat lunch. Look what I got. Okay, this by far is the coolest shelter. I'm at Cory Gap Shelter. This is by far the, the coolest shelter I've ever seen in my life. I'm sitting on a porch swing right now. I'm trying to swing. So they have a porch swing. They have, um, I'll turn the camera around here in a little bit. But um, I know it, it's a little bit early. I had a long day yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and, it's only two o'clock, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop and just kind of take it easy. Just had a long day yesterday, get my feet a rest and uh, hike out again tomorrow. But I, I just can't pass up this shelter. It's too nice. I wanted to have a chance to stay in this one. It's even got flowers and everything around there. I want to turn it around and show you guys. The shelter over there, it's got a little seat over there. That's my pack. I think I want to, I may or may not stay in this shelter. And there is a bear box over there. The little round thing right there, it's got a little metal, um, a piece of metal on it to use as a to put your stove on because a lot of times you get you put your stove on the wood and it ends up putting you know burning a hole in it or burning it there's a spring right down there next to that that bench 
fire pit, another picnic table, and uh, let's see if I can get out of this. Before. And this is the the porch swing. Really cool. Very nice. A couple of tent pads over there. Then got a little turtle garden. Very nice little turtle garden. fire pit, another picnic table, a lot of flowers. A little small on the inside, but that's okay. They're, they're very clean. Very nice. This is the guy that um, the innkeeper is Jim Staunch. Staunch. The Potomac Appalachian Trail Club. It's very nice. It's a little skylight. Oh, it's even got a tarp over there on the other side. Oh, and over here too. No, no tarp there. But it's got books and checkers and games and books. The trail log and even got some uh, uh, pamphlets on the trip. Potomac Appalachian Trail Club. This looks like the flowers that are here were given by Muscle Man's Greenhouse. Nice. This is very nice. This is like home. I could, well, I wouldn't say I would live here, but I would love to be able to. I, well, I'm just going to have to stay here tonight. It's too nice to pass up. It's even got a sundial over here. Oops. So you can see what time it is. It's. My watch says two. Well, I didn't guess it is two. It's almost at the two. And a frog. And a little brook right here. Oh, that's nice. Won't have to go very far for water. 